Hi everyone, um, I guess it's been a while since last tutorial um, and tonight I got something really good, I think at least. Um, I'm sorry for that camera angle because uh, I'm, I'm using my external screen here and uh, my computer, my laptop is over there. So. Um, VLC uh, it's a it's a good player and I often use it or I often use it before to watch movies and stuff um, because it takes so many formats and that uh, but now since I got my my Xbox I haven't used it that much because um, the Xbox plays DVDs and well many formats and you can stream from your PC to to your Xbox and that, well, that stuff. Um, so um, I, I watched a lot of movies on on the Xbox, but I I, I don't really like it because the Xbox sounds really much, honestly, like e, and that's that's not fun when you're watching a movie. Um, so I. I I dug a little deeper into the settings of VLC and uh, I actually made it scale up my uh, my movies, my DVD movies. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how you make VLC here uh, upscale your DVDs to maybe 1080p. It's not perfect but it's at least as good at, as the Xbox and my laptop doesn't sound at all. Um, so first we're gonna go to settings and that we can do that by clicking settings here or we can we can uh, use command and like this. Um, it's the same in almost all Apple applications and the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna click show all settings because uh, this is advanced stuff I have keywords here so I'm gonna remember um, we're starting at video heading here we're clicking that um, then filters filters subheading uh, uh. Uh, then video post pr processing filter and it's right Click that box, and then video scaling filter, uh, and that's there. I um, my my settings are in Swedish, um, and then is in this box here. Um, you're gonna write sharpen. Remember the colon there; it's important. Um, and after with that, we we're, we're done with that. We're gonna go to uh, under this filter heading again, sharpen video filter here, and this is I think uh, this is default. So instead, we're gonna write point twenty five, two hundred and fifty. You you can you can vary this, but twenty five is the best I think. You can have lower. Fifteen uh, is good. Uh, it's a good starting value, so you can try that. Um, well, now we're gonna go to post processing, which which is here, <laughs> and yeah, the the quality should be on six, but this is depending on your computer hardware. So if your c computer is weak, you may want to lower this, but start on six and then go lower if until your video is smooth and not choppy. Um, uh, then we're gonna go to this uh, SW scale uh, and uh, you can you can try any of these because uh, most of them are good. Uh, I, I prefer this Lang Zas or something um, but you can also you can also choose Sync R here um, bicubic, 
or um, experimental this but I prefer Langlois uh, because I feel it's the best one so then don't forget quick save and that should be it so now we're gonna put this DVD it's a DVD because I have no blu-ray player since I have an Xbox instead of PlayStation so we're gonna not put it under the laptop we're gonna put it in in the well thingy now it's gonna open in in DVD player so we don't want that because DVD player is not gonna scale up video so we're gonna actually we're gonna quit directly no take it away uh, and instead we're gonna open disk here DVD and open in VLC if you don't have VLC you can download it from uh, video LAN, video L A N. You can Google it. Um, it's it's a free, it's a free application. It's really good. It takes almost every format, and uh, um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah, and we got this text here. Uh, this is the actual size of the DVD content, but if you what? Ah, yeah, it doesn't like my sound output just because it's Firewire sound. But now watch if we skip a little into the movie. Maybe here, you can see it's r it's really. It's really nice. It, it, it's sharper, uh, and uh, yeah, you get a lot more detail. It's of course it's not like full HD, but it's definitely better than original DVD. So really, you should you should do this because, well, it's uh, there's no reason not to. So instead of watching your movies in DVD player, you can watch your movies in Full HD in VLC. It's your choice. Um, so I think uh, that's all from Movie Bubler this time. And uh, I'll see you later. <laughs>